Yeah, good day viewers. You're welcome to my channel. This is Radical Science. If today is the first time of visiting my channel, I want you to do well by hitting the subscription button and also turning the subscription bell on so that anytime we post in this channel, you can be able to get notification to enable you watch our videos. So on today's edition, I'll be carrying out the titration on this year's 2024 NECO chemistry practical which is under titration so all i want you to do is just to follow me step by step i remember do not skip this video because when you skip this video you may lose one step or the other and by the time you try to do your own you may have a failed result so that is the more reason why you need to pay attention to this practical as we proceed so on today's edition i'll be teaching you how to uh, measure the chemicals for this 2024 NECO chemistry practicals. So I want you to pay attention. So I read from, from the specimen here. 150 cm cube of tetra oxysulfate 6 acid solution in a bottle labeled AM. The acid solution should, which should be the same for all the candidates will contain 3.8 cm cube of concentrated tetra oxysulfate 6 acid per dm cube of solution. Of the sulfate, six acid. So what this simply means is that we are going to measure our tetra oxo sulfate 6 which is the sulfuric acid. This is sulfuric acid. We are to measure 3 points. We are to measure 3.8 of this. So in this 3.8 of this, I've already measured it. All you need to do is you measure using this um, measuring cylinder. You measure 3.8. Once you measure 3.8, then you are to fill it right inside this um, flask, which is 1,000 um, mils. Remember, 1,000 mils is equal to 1 dm cube. So while filling it, you make sure that it reaches to this particular point where we have our line. Make sure you don't exceed it. So that is how to measure 3.8. Um, cm 3.8 cm cube of te tetra oxysulfate 6 dissolving it in 1 dm cube which is this so i have already done this because of our time if you are not still convinced or if you don't still understand what i'm saying all you need to do is just go through my videos you will see where i did a tutorial on the procedure for measuring this but i believe as a teacher you can be able to get everything i said from this procedure or you can still chat me up on my whatsapp so that i can still explain more if you don't really understand what we are saying so we have measured one dm cube and dissolved in this so now this one now we are asked to so now secondly based on the base we are asked to measure six grams of of um, sodium carbonate six grams of sodium carbonate so while measuring these six grams of sodium carbonate all you need to do is you make use of your weighing balance you make use of your weighing balance though i don't have light here i would have done it for you to see it but if you want to know how to measure it just um, go to my videos my previous videos you will see how i was able to measure some chemicals using this particular scale okay it is very very easy so you use this scale to measure six grams of this six grams of sodium carbonate six grams of sodium carbonate and why after you measure it you will now dissolve it in 1000 mils you dissolve it in 1000 mils of distilled water dissolve in 1000 mils of distilled water so this is our um, prepared um, sodium carbonate okay sodium carbonate it is very very necessary and make sure you don't exceed this particular line at this particular point so at this particular point now we are asked to use um, our indicator which is methyl orange so I'll be using my methyl orange while titrating so all I wanted to do is to follow me step by step and remember do not skip this video
If you have any question that you don't understand, please all I want you to do is leave a comment in the comment section and I promise you that I will give answer to your questions. Thank you very much and God bless you.